Hello friends, uh, welcome to the virtual anatomy classes and today we are going to study about 3D atlas of anatomy that is skull. Uh, so as we know that uh, the cranium is uh, uh, consists of two parts that is neurocranium that is cranial wall. This is the bony covering of the case of the brain and its uh, meninges enclosed within the skull and uh, it also consists the proximal parts of cranial nerves and their vasculature now the as we seeing that the neurocranium has sort of uh, it's called a skull cap and a flow of cranial base that forms a bone and it is formed of eight bones that is uh, four singular bones and centered on the midline that is we can see the frontal uh, ethmoid bone and then we have part we can see that here we have sphenoid bone then we have occipital bone now the other part where we can talk about is viscerocranium but we can't appreciate all bones here but I'll try to give you the overview now the viscerocranium uh, cranium is made up of facial bones that mainly develop in the mesenchyme of the embryonic pharyngeal arches that you can you have studied in embryology class now uh, it consists of 15 irregular bones that is three singular bones and lying in the midline that is mandible, mandible. first of all I have not given uh, mandible not. now the other six pit bone in a viscerocranium is occur they occur bilaterally now first of all we are taking a complete whole overview uh, including mandible now uh, and it is anterior view of skull as you can see it clearly here now here when we uh, see the entire view of skull we should uh, be able to identify some landmarks of bone uh, and skull now first of all uh, to take you uh, its frontal bone part of uh, that is uh, neurocranium that is cranial wall cranial wall is formed by first for frontal bone and this is nasal bone nasal bone and this is the suture uh, joining both is uh, we call it nasium and here we have maxilla as you can see it clearly here it's uh, both we have paired bone of maxilla here and here and the uh, teeth from a maxillary, uh, maxillary side that is from the alveolar socket and this is we have a mandible here we have ramus of mandible angle of mandible as you can see clearly angle of mandible this is the ramus of mandible and this is body of mandible here and we have the teeth from alveolar process of mandible now here we have a zygomatic bone attach, uh, attaching to that is maxilla and uh, posteriorly temporal bone and uh, superiorly it's attaching with uh, frontal bone now here we are uh, see seeing the we can see the preform aperture that is the entry to the nasal cavity As you can see more clearly that uh, here I am zooming in and it is nasal crest here we have Voma here and there is one, uh, one side of nasal cavity here and the other side of nasal cavity there now we have uh, okay now it was uh, more of a uh, part of interview of skull complete overview which I just to know the light uh, let you know the names of bone now just moving towards the lateral part of the skull anatomy we have here the temporal bone here we can see it. temporal bone and it is getting attached anterior with sphenoid and superior uh, laterally uh, we can see the frontal bone and this is the part of coronal suture which uh, joins the frontal bone and parietal bone this is parietal bone just having a quick overview now uh, we have posterior more posteriorly we can see the occipital bone occipital bone 
and this is lambdoid suture joining the occipital bone and parietal bone both side and this suture as you can see the sagittal suture you can see clearly sagittal suture how they are uh, attached now so we have sagittal suture joining two parietal bones we have in front we have coronal suture coronal suture joining the frontal bone as you can see now the how the you can name it now lambda suture because it's the form of lambda lambda the sign greek symbol so you can remember it clearly now here we have uh, occipital crest occipital crest you can see it and here we have uh, in fairly we have superior nuchal lines in fair nuchal lines where muscles attachment take place okay now as we have uh, taken eye now uh, to give you a quick uh, overview of uh, regional anatomy of mandible we can see the elbow process of mandible this is uh, we have foramina which we'll talking about later this is angle or it, it is called as angle of mandible this is ramus of mandible and this is body of mandible process and uh, this is uh, we call it the condylar process of mandible which takes part in the formation of uh, temporomandibular joint you can see the more the internal view just rotating it to, so that you can appreciate it yeah this is the posterior view of mandible see the line ridges uh, we'll be talking about its attachment so i'm just uh, trying to give you a overview so that you can just look and observe this okay so this was it we can see the external meatus here we have part of temporal bone that is it is uh, a mastoid process it is stellate process and it is squamous part of temporal bone now now in, in this uh, more about the inferior view as we can see i'm just uh, giving a uh, rotation of the skull so that you can uh, appreciate the bumps and dumps in the skull so that to appreciating the 3d anatomy yes, it will serve your purpose in uh, practical exams of dip now here we have we can see clearly the foramen magnum from where the spinal cord arises <coughs> excuse me here from the medial obliquing it as the spinal cord takes the uh, position and uh, here in this inferior view we can see the these are occipital condyles where we have the atlas attachment and here you can see okay uh, Uh, so this was the part one uh, a sort of overview of the skull so that you can appreciate its 3d anatomy class uh, just to finish it up uh, just i would like to appreciate some temporal bone parts we can see the petrous part of the temporal bone as you can hear see and this is stellate mastoid and this is occipital band you can see the clear cut distinction of skull bones here we uh, we have sphenoid that is the greater wing greater wing and we have a small wing here it is part of here it is we have palatine bone and we have a part of maxilla bone attaching midline here we also two palatine bones attaching midline that is from the crest posteriorly and here we have ethmoid part of ethmoid bone as you can see here and here to this sphenoid part so this was the uh, sort of overview of the skull just to make it more clear i'm giving a rotation of skull so that you can uh, appreciate it for the anatomy it's it's late overview and uh, it's posterior view okay okay posterior view and this is anterior view so this was it in first part i just only discuss about overview now in second part i'll tear middle and posterior uh, all the three for the for the we'll be talking about so keep tuned to the second part which is more important and uh, 
anatomically otherwise and thanks for viewing the video.